The late John Cornelius Stennis co-authored the Southern Manifesto, condemning the Supreme Court's 1954 decision on school desegregation. And that's not all he did. During his 41 years in Congress, the Mississippi senator voted against the Civil Rights Act, opposed the Voting Rights Act, and he voted against the establishment of Martin Luther King Jr. Day as a national holiday. Writing this month for U.S. Naval Institute's magazine Proceedings, Reuben Keith Green calls Stennis the heart, soul, and brains of the white supremacist caucus. Despite all that, in 1988, President Reagan ordered that the aircraft carrier CVN-74 would be named after Stennis. Uh, my suspicion is that uh, Navy sailors and officers uh, may not have, you know, an in-depth knowledge about uh, John C. Stennis and uh, the fact that he was an arch uh, segregationist uh, who was opposed to civil rights. Dr. Michael Clemens is a professor of political science and African-American studies at Old Dominion University. Stennis uh, really uh, has a very a difficult background to justify uh, maintaining the name of that vessel uh, after him. Ironically, this conversation about Stennis's legacy comes the very year that the Navy saw fit to name its next aircraft carrier, CVN-81, after African-American World War II hero Doris Miller. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.